Hey guys, you are seeing Charlie doing an e-collar heel, meaning we have introduced the remote collar on walks, and at this stage in the game, he is receiving low-level pressure whenever there is leash pressure. So if he creeps ahead, the person walking him is going to guide him back as they say heel while also pressing the button, and then when he's in position, all pressure releases and he gets praise. The button is being layered over all known commands, so when his handler stops and tells him to sit, he's pressing the button and releasing when he sits. So we are just layering the low-level remote collar over all the commands to eventually drop the leash and be able to do all things without a leash and have off-leash reliability. And then if, uh, we're here just proofing the place command once again, role-playing real-life scenarios and fine-tuning his understanding of the place command. Notice we have a leash on him. In case he breaks, we're able to guide him back. We say no, place. We give him a little correction with the leash or the e-collar and put him back on the bed. We are kind of throwing food all around the place. We're knocking on walls, knocking on doors, moving all around the house. We just want him to understand you're in a command, you're on the place bed, you're not allowed to leave unless you get that release word. So I just wanted to give you a little look inside Charlie's lesson today. Um, stay tuned for a really cute picture right here of him and his two doggy siblings. Thanks guys.